more educational resources, like our medical ID cards, check out medicalbasics.com. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the best resources for the psychiatry shelf, as well as how to do well on the psychiatry rotation. So just a broad overview, very similar to all the other shelves, you're going to need some type of question bank, textbook, as well as videos for the psychiatry shelf. So first off is the question banks. And I think that the one thing that's a little bit different from the psychiatry shelf from other shelves is that Euro doesn't have a huge emphasis on the psychiatry shelf. So there's only about 150 questions. I do think that they're very high yield type questions. But one thing that's a little bit different about the psychiatry shelf as opposed to other ones is you really just need to know a core set of diseases and you need to know the guidelines and the criteria to make those diagnoses as well as the treatment for them. So you don't actually need to do, in my opinion at least, I don't feel like you have to do as many questions as say medicine or surgery. Um, and it's more about really memorizing those guidelines because once you have those guidelines down and once you have all those memorized for each of the, and the guidelines that I'm talking about is, for example, what is the criteria for diagnosing depression? What is the criteria for diagnosing um, something like bipolar and so on and so forth? You need to know each one of those and doing a bunch of questions is obviously helpful, but I think even more important is memorizing the diagnostic criteria for each one of those. So if you would like to, definitely can try other things like pretest, which has about 500 questions uh, for psychiatry. And pretest is tends to give a lot more, I guess, factual type questions where they're much more straightforward than you will. You don't have to do a lot of thinking. It's just literally all the information is there. And then out of the selection, what is the answer? It's more of a fact-based recall. But for this, I think for psychiatry, at least, I think it is, that's pretty much what you're going to be doing on the actual shelf. It's a lot more of just memorizing those guidelines, memorizing those diagnostic criteria and being able to regurgitate that. So that's why pretest would be particularly helpful here. But the main one, I would say the most important textbook, and you probably haven't heard much of it before, is first aid. So first aid, in my opinion, doesn't really make that many good step two or clerkship books. They obviously made the best step one book, first aid for step one. But other than that, they really don't make good textbooks, I'll, I'll say, to be honest. The one book that I think they do make very well is the psychiatry clerkship book. So this is first aid for the psychiatry clerkship, really just gives you the diagnostic criteria, gives you exactly what you need to know and nothing more. So if you can memorize everything in this textbook, and it's in my opinion, it's not that hard to memorize everything in this textbook. I think it's definitely much more difficult for others subjects and for other textbooks but for this one for the psychiatry shelf really you just need to know those diagnostic criteria like I mentioned before once you have that down you don't need anything else you can check out other books like case files or master boards or first aid for step two but in my opinion those are not very useful or not not that they're not useful more so that they're not necessary I think that this is the only textbook that you need for the psychiatry shelf is first aid for the psychiatry clerkship. Next thing is gonna be, just like other things, online meta, sketchy medical, picmonic. Online meta gives you a few general videos on general overview of the different diagnoses, which is good to just kind of get a different perspective. The one thing that I'll say for the video lectures that I think is very important that may not have been important in other shelves is pharmacology. Pharmacology on the psychiatry shelf is surprisingly very important, um, just because there's not a whole lot of other things that they're gonna be testing you on, but this is one thing that's very important important. So where it comes into play is sketchy medical and picmonic. So being able to utilize these resources uh, for pharmacology is extremely useful. And this is the one situation where I will say that using sketchy medical or picmonic for pharmacology, if you haven't used them before, actually may be something that could be worthwhile. I think for every other shelf exam, I do not think that it's something to use. And just to give you a little background, Sketchy Medical and Picmonic, they give you these pictorials, they give you these little cartoons to help you memorize almost like mnemonics, but for the visual mnemonic. And so this is something that a lot of people utilize for step one. And for other rotations, I've always recommended this only if you've used it for step one. I never thought it was useful to use this for the very first time for your clerkship or for step two. This is the one shelf exam where I say will say that this is probably very high yield just because pharmacology is a very important subject on the shelf and there's a lot of drugs within psychiatry that are hard to remember, hard to remember all the different side effects, hard to remember all the different mechanisms of action. So this is one uh, use for memorizing these drugs. Next thing is going to be some resources that you can use on the wards, very similar to other things, but I'll point out some differences. So pocket medicine, we always recommend that 
good to just have a good baseline and framework for different things. Medical notes, good for different types of pharmacology, mental statics exam, things like that. The three things I think that you definitely need that you probably haven't utilized before is going to be one, you need some type of depression index or some type of depression test that you're going to use. And there's a variety of them out there. One that I always use was the Beck Depression Inventory, the BDI, to really assess whether or not someone has depression or not. And AMOCA is going to be a very common cognitive neuro exam or psychiatric exam that you're going to be giving for these patients that you want to kind of differentiate between dementia and the other type of psychiatric conditions. So these are two things that you're definitely going to have to be very familiar with because you're going to have to be doing it every single day. And so definitely have one of these handy and definitely familiarize yourself with it so that the first time they ask, have you ever done one, you can say you have. At least you you know of it and you have it prepared. So those are two things that you'd have, as well as having a good mental ecstatics exam, not only in having a template, uh, but also just having a good mental status exam that you are very comfortable with, that you can administer very easily, but also be able to present. Because you'll find that psychiatry presentations are very different from the medicine or surgery presentations that you've had to give before. A lot of it, it's revolving around the mental status exam, which is why it's a very different rotation, a very different approach. And a lot of people do like that about uh, psychiatry. But I think that the one thing for you is just to really be able to be comfortable with the mental status exam and to have some type of template for that. Next thing is going to be different types of websites that you can utilize on the wards. So things like UpToDate, Hippocrates, and Micromedics are all around going to be useful up to date to just have the approach to also have something that you can utilize that you can look up Hippocrates and micromedics is more for pharmacology specifically in dosing and in frequency and then last but not least is going to be the review course that was designed by Emma Holiday designed by one of the University of Texas San Antonio I believe she was a fourth year medical student at the time giving a review course for third year medical students I think this is great for just giving you a very uh, general last minute preparation right before your exam. So a couple of days before your exam, watch this one, maybe two times. And I think that will be good. I mean, essentially, the, for the majority of the shelf, as well as rotation, if you understand and learn and memorize everything within the first aid textbook for psychiatry, I think you'll be perfectly fine. And if there's anything else that you have heard of or have you used, utilized, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our medical ID cards, scrub notes, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.